Good morning, it's a snowy Tuesday and it's time for our daily devotions. Uh, we are this week uh, in the sermon on Sunday. We're going we're gonna to look at uh, Israel, the United States, the church. Uh, we're going to try and look at uh, basically how we pull forward into our day the, uh, the commands of how the community of Israel were to be set up. And the reason is because we're looking at a number of scriptures during Lent uh, that, will, uh, that will talk about how Israel, the people of God, were instructed to, uh, to include immigrants, uh, foreigners, aliens among them. Uh, and, uh, and so I thought as an initial Lent sermon, it would be good to look at a, a good way to understand to bring those things forward. So uh, yesterday we looked at uh, we looked at the passage in Genesis 12, the very first sort of call of the people of God together out of the people of the world. Uh, and today we're going to look at at the origin really of the name Israel. How did we get to be Israel? Uh, in Genesis 12 we have Abram, Abram and Sarai, uh, and their nephew Lot is hanging around too. Uh, and their and their people, their servants. I mean, their household. Um, and but the the community of the people of God grows. Uh, they have kids. They have kids. They have kids, etc. And uh, with today's story, we are two generations removed. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, grandson J- Jacob. There are other people, but as the Bible story is told, those are the the key figures that are brought forward. Often God is referred to in the Old Old Testament after this point as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then even even uh, even more later, when it's Jacob's kids, the twelve tribes of whom the twelve tribes are named, uh, uh, it's the God of Jacob. And so Jacob is an essential person, uh, even though he's the just the grandson of Abraham. Anyway, uh, Jacob in our story today gets renamed. Israel, uh, many will will uh, uh, will know parts of the story, right? This is where Jacob wrestles with God or a representative of God of some kind. Genesis 32, 22 to 32. Jacob got up during the night, took his two wives, his two women servants, and his 11 sons, and crossed the Jabbok River's shallow water. He took them and everything that belonged to him, and he helped them cross the river. But Jacob stayed apart by himself, and a man wrestled with him until dawn broke. When the man saw that he couldn't defeat Jacob, he grabbed Jacob's thigh and tore a muscle in Jacob's thigh as he wrestled with him. The man said, Let me go because the dawn is breaking. But Jacob said, I won't let you go until you bless me. And he said to Jacob, What's your name? Uh, and he said, Jacob. Then he said, Your name won't be Jacob any longer, but Israel. Because you struggled with God and with men and won. Jacob also asked and said, Tell me your name. But he said, Why do you ask for my name? And he blessed Jacob there. Jacob named the place Peniel because I've seen God face to face and my life has been saved. Uh, the sun rose as Jacob passed Pen- Pen- Penuel limping because of his thigh. Therefore, Israelites don't eat the tendon attached to the thigh muscle to this day because he grabbed Jacob's thigh muscle at the tendon. So that's the sort or, or, origin story, really, of the name Israel. And I found a song. This is an old Charles Wesley song. I'd never heard it before. Uh, but it's based on this passage. And it's I think it's an incredible song. Uh, and so I'll try and sing it for you. Uh, it is in our. Uh, it is in our. I say our because it's our people. Uh, we don't really have the hymnal uh, yet. Just a few cop copies. The voices together. The new Mennonite uh, Church USA hymnal. Um, all right. So, come, O thou traveler unknown. This old Charles Wesley song. Uh, it's in a minor key. Let me set it up to get my head on straight. Ba 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 ba. Come, O thou traveler unknown, whom still I hold but cannot see. My company before is gone, and I am left alone with thee. 
With thee all night I mean to stay, And wrestle till the break of day. Wilt thou not yet to me reveal Thy new unutterable name? Tell me, I still beseech thee, tell, To know it now resolved I am. Wrestling I will not let thee go, Till I thy name, thy nature know. My strength is gone, my nature dies, I sink beneath thy weighty hand, Faint to revive and fall to rise, I fall, and yet by faith I stand. I stand and will not let thee go, Till I thy name, thy nature know. Yield to me now, for I am weak, But confident in self-despair. Speak to my heart in blessing, speak, Be conquered by my instant prayer. Speak, or thou never hand shalt move, And tell me if thy name is love. Tis love, tis love that wrestled me, I hear thy whisper in my heart. The morning breaks, the shadows flee, Pure universal love thou art. To me, to all thy mercies move, Thy nature and thy name is love. Blessings today.